Hello, YouTube. Hello, ghouls. Fiends. Sure. Whatever you want to be called. I wanted to post something. Pretty much anything. I never gave this channel a chance, and I'd like to try and redeem myself. I haven't exactly figured out how yet. <laughs> a few years ago, when I made this channel, I wanted to create anything. And I wanted to make an online presence for myself, and it honestly didn't matter what it was, or what it did, or... I just wanted to be a part of this sphere, just be a part of YouTube. Um... So the easiest thing for me was uh, something that I had been following and consuming for years, creepypastas. I have been obsessed with spooky things since childhood, and I've, I'm always looking for horror. And I was always looking for horror, like even in the scholastic book fairs of the 90s. It seemed like a natural progression as a teen when I found creepypasta, and as I became a young adult, I was reading them and listening to the bigger creators and narrators, and I was consumed. I remember some of my firsts and some of the biggest players back then, and I remember hiding under the covers with a laptop until my blood was cold. I was afraid to peek out and to see what my imagination might have summoned. Over the years, though, this constant stimulation has dulled my sense, but not my love for for the creepypasta space and for the horror space. I just am a lot more skeptical and a lot more critical of the things that I come across in ways that I used to not be. And that makes it hard for me to bring things to you as someone that I would like to create for. It feels very fake and insincere to feign fear to get views. Which is why I don't do um, video game playthroughs. I love video games and I play them and I love all the scary games, but my reactions are not Markiplier. They are not some of the big content creators, they're not PewDiePie playing Amnesia. That's not what you're going to get. So... I'm going to start posting things. I'm going to start posting more readings. And I'm going to make some other content. Maybe Halloween-oriented content, or vlogs, or just whatever the hell's going on in my life. Um... I figure if I start making things that just make me happy, then they might also make you happy. And to anyone who has listened to me, or who has subscribed to this place, I thank you sincerely for giving me a chance, and I'm sorry that I went quiet for so long. And I hope moving forward that I can provide you with some sort of entertainment. And I look forward to seeing you soon. But, oh, but... Um, if you're interested in anime, and you want to hear two nerds ramble for like 45 minutes a week, I did start a podcast with a friend. He knows nothing about anime, and I am trying to sort of curate the season's top anime to him and convince him to watch them and give him a reason to care. It's called Anime Tour Bus, and you can find us anywhere that you find your podcasts. Okay, thank you. Bye!